So tell us a little bit about your journey as a company and who you are. This just kind of uh, kind of started one day. Mostly I turned to her and said, you know what would be cool? We made our own drinks. And that's basically how it got started. And then, you know, we went to Shaw's supermarket in Lancaster, New Hampshire, where he purchased some of the finest ingredients that Shaw's supermarket has to offer. And then, you know, we came up with a um, our baseline flavors here, which um, we'll get to later in the interview here. So far, the journey's been short. It's been like two weeks. It's been a good two weeks, though. Yeah, um, good feedback so far. So yeah, it's it's been a, it's been a great journey so far for us. How do I know that the owners of this company are a trustworthy source of iced tea and lemonade? Okay, you're throwing in a curveball here for questions. This is not on the list. <laughs> Who am I buying my lemonade and iced tea from? He gave from? me a list of questions. This, this question ain't on here. So, um, um, just a couple of kids that want to make some good drinks. I'm your cousin-in-law, basically. For the YouTube community, they want to know the answers. For the YouTube community? They um, want to know the answers. You know, we're some trustworthy people. I mean, uh, if you ask anyone really, they'll say, um, yeah, they're pretty trustworthy people. Well, he's in culinary, um, so he knows more what he's doing than I do. Yeah, I'm a pretty trustworthy guy. Ask anyone, ask anyone you really know. Wes, if Garrick Berry is a trustworthy person, they'll say yes most of the time. Depends on who you ask. She, she's a different story. Not very trustworthy at all, but I'm fine. It's okay. Um, uh, I do got a little experience in the field. I am a culinary arts student. Um, I took culinary uh, three years from White Mountains Regional High School, and I plan to attend this fall um, White Mountains Community College for culinary arts. So I'm taking some of that experience of mine into the field of our drinks here. Yeah, he um, knows what he's doing. He just kind of tells me what to do. Yeah, that's basically how we do it. So where is your company based out of and what is the inspiration behind doing what you're doing? Our company is based out of Lancaster, New Hampshire. Um, small town, about 2,000 people. You might have heard of it. More specifically, if you want to get into specifics, my girlfriend's kitchen. Um, I could give you an address, but that'd be unprofessional of me. Mm -hmm. But um, we're based out of Lancaster, New Hampshire, and hope hopefully spread in the near future to do some other stuff in other towns. Mm -hmm. We got our um, inspiration by these really cool people that we met at Littleton Farmers Markets. Their name is Yeoman Brew, and they make some like really, really, really good stuff. And they're really nice people. And we were like, you know, this is really cool what they got. Like they make their own stuff. And so Garrick was like, what if we tried uh, making different stuff like that? And I'm like, sure, why not? And so now that's what we're doing. So Garrick, how are you going to sell your product to your customers? Right now I'm only taking uh, orders over direct message on Instagram. I mean, it's going pretty well so far. I mean, it's as good as Instagram direct message gets. But um, in the future we plan to sell um, to a broader audience. Um, we're gonna plan to go to farmers markets and stuff like that to really get our product out there. Um, for now, we're starting small, um, breaking even on what we have and aiming for the future. But for now, it's it's just uh, direct orders, which you can either direct message me or the, the company of Instagram. Mm -hmm. We're just hoping to get our name out there and get people um, knowing our name and thinking of us when they have some really good drinks. So all in all, what are your short-term and long-term goals for the company? Um, some short-term and long-term goals of ours are, short-term go goals is, you know, definitely get out there. Keep making tea, keep taking orders, hopefully, we'll see. Some long-term goals, um, you know, become a brand, you know, get to more and more markets here and there, um, really try and sell stuff, make people happy, you know, because that's all we want, to make people happy, so. Mm -hmm. We really just want to get out there and sell our stuff, like get out on the, at the markets, at like street fairs and different stuff like that and just sell what we got to sell. We carry five flavors currently at the moment. Um, some we're going to plan to be seasonal because you know, you don't always want to drink some during the middle of the winter time, just be wrong. But right here we have, um, uh, it's called the Patriot. It is a blueberry lemonade. Right next to it here we have a uh, pineapple uh, sweet tea, which we call Revolt. Um, right here in the middle, we have um, the Minuteman. It is a traditional style lemonade. Uh, right here, we have Independence, which is a um, an apple and cinnamon, an apple cider sweet tea. Right here on the end, we have Riot, which is a um, a mixed berry tea. And those are those are currently the five flavors we have. 
There was one in development. It was like a watermelon, uh, watermelon lemonade. That didn't go out as didn't go as uh, as we planned there. But uh, that's for a different story. Um, that's not in this interview. So, yeah, those are our current flavors at the moment. Five in total. What separates you from corporate companies? Uh, definitely flavor. Right here. Um, how often do you see an apple? Apple. You know, an apple sweet tea. Like, you let me know and I'll. I'll do something about it, but I don't, I don't see any of that. Also, like all of our, all of the things that we use to make these are things that you can just find in like your kitchen. It's not anything like weird. You're not gonna find any like things that you can't pronounce on the label. It's you can all, you can say everything in it. You know, <laughs> it's all like homemade, very um, straightforward drinks. So there, you've heard it, folks. Straight from the source, you've got their first shipment going out right now on that truck so if you want any just direct message them on instagram rebel brewing company i'll put the link in the bio so you can see it my favorite flavor is the blueberry lemonade i'm sorry i forgot the actual name of it they've got some cool names and stuff i have a suggestion they should uh play the they should go to the local shows and they should sell their iced tea and lemonade there i think that would be a really good place to sell it we've got a small close uh, community here in Whitefield and Lancaster Littleton and I think that would do really well because that's that's a really supportive group right there and they probably buy the crap out of your stuff yeah there you have it rebel brewing company just a dishwasher well I gotta get him am I just a dishwasher in this company <laughs> <laughs> don't put any of that in there I knew this wasn't a trustworthy source <laughs> <laughs>